In the isolated villages of Tanzania, rivers are a source of life. They are also a source of disease. This man is a corn farmer and father of five. But for the last three years, he has not been able to see and cannot work. He has river blindness. River blindness, or onchocerciasis, affects an estimated four million people in Tanzania alone. On a recent trip to the southern highlands of Tanzania with the World Health Organization, we visited isolated villages where innovative efforts are underway to treat the disease. But it presents some unusual challenges. Uh, in this particular village, the only source of water supply is this river. And they need water from this uh, river for washing themselves, for washing their clothes. But there is a major problem. This river is infected with black flies, which carry the parasitic worms that cause river blindness. The flies breed in clean, fast-moving water, which makes it difficult for villagers who depend on the river to avoid. The fly bites introduce worms into the body, where they form nodules under the skin and quickly reproduce, creating millions of offspring. Dr. Wade Kabuka, an ophthalmologist by training, has been working on river blindness in the Rivuma region for nearly a decade. He said, we're going to see a man who... Who has uh, suspected signs of uh, skin lesions, uh, which are suspected to be signs of onchocerciasis. The symptoms of river blindness can be debilitating, ranging from severe itching that can cause people to lose sleep for years at a time, to epilepsy, and ultimately to blindness. This corn farmer began to lose his sight three years ago. Now he is blind. He is on medication, but still has such severe itching that he can no longer sleep. He hasn't slept for a year? Yes, no, he can sleep for maybe for three hours. Epilepsy can also be a side effect of the disease. The farmer's son, who is 22, suffers from seizures three times a month. For the last decade, the World Health Organization has been working with public health officials throughout Africa to come up with innovative ways to treat the disease. In Tanzania, health officials travel through isolated villages, recruiting a network of community organizers to assist in the treatment. They work to distribute the drug, known as Mectazan, which was originally developed as a veterinary medicine and is given away free by its manufacturer, Merck. The drug stops the worm from breeding, but does not kill it. Infected people must take the medicine for 15 years, the life of the worm. The prevalence rate for Litoa village is 98%. 98%, so probably all these people are infected. Yeah. In order for the drug to halt the spread of the parasite, the entire village must take it for the full 15 years. Otherwise, the worms will keep breeding and reinfect humans. But getting people to take the drug, which can cause severe reactions at first, is often difficult. There are a few people in the community who refuses to take the drug. Those are the ones who are going to continue spreading the disease in the community. Many people fear that the drug will sterilize them. People was uh, generated a false idea that medicine is terminating a libido. Others prefer to rely on local healers. Yes, he said he went to the went to the witch doctors. Dr. Kabuka says that getting authorities to fund river blindness treatment programs can be difficult, especially when they are in competition for limited funds with high-profile diseases like HIV/AIDS. Nearly 18 million people worldwide have river blindness, most of them in Africa.
It is the world's second leading cause of preventable blindness. For now, these community-based programs are the best hope that the people of Tanzania have.